Manchester United nil, Bournemouth three. A fixture that, honestly, I don't think anyone would have predicted the scoreline. Bournemouth has been on a good run in form, but I was just live for this fixture. And what I saw was honestly shocking. Man United had 20 plus shots. They looked awful. Bournemouth looked threatening every time they went forward. It was a complete disparity. United had all the possession. Bournemouth were hitting them on the counter. They scored a back heel goal in the fifth minute. The fifth minute at Old Trafford, mind you. This is not like something that I think should be taken lightly, right? Manchester United is a team that gets a lot of pressure unfairly. I'm saying this as a Liverpool fan. They get all the media hate that most teams are not usually accustomed with like a Bournemouth would never get the level of vitriol that United gets but that's besides the point what we're going to talk about today is this performance overall for Manchester United we're going to look at the stats real quick I was trying to stay entertained but honestly like it it was a possession dominated game by Man United 69 percent of the possession nice um 858 touches 653 passes 20 shots to Bournemouth's 10. They had double the amount of shots. They had less shots on target. They had double the amount of shots. They had less shots on target. The lineups up here, the top left, if, you, if you're if you so interested. If you can't really read them or if you're not looking, Onana, Maguire, well, Onana, Dalo, Maguire, Shaw, Regulon, Amrabat, Bruno Fernandes, Garnacho, well, Amrabat, McTominay, uh, Anthony Garnacho, Bruno Fernandes, and Martial. So no Rashford to start. That was the big story going into it. Rashford came on later. He didn't really do much. He had a penalty shout. That was about it. Onana had not impressed me once again. Um, and honestly, like, let's just talk about the goals real quick. The first goal barnstorming run by lewis cook in onto uh scott mctominay he had a heavy touch tried to control a ball that was up in the air with his foot didn't really work out got scored on as a result really rough look uh for mctominay and united and that was how it ended in the first half and then the second half i mean we just continued to see more of the same united dominating possession but not really making anything of it and finally, Philip Billing beat Luke Shaw in the 68th minute for a towering header. It was really impressive. And finally, five minutes after that, we saw Marco Sanessi score again, assisted by Marcus Tavernier. 3-0 uh, win. What to be said? I guess the biggest thing here, Bruno Fernandes picked up his fifth yellow card of the season. That means he's out for his next fixture, which is Liverpool at Anfield. A tough loss for Man United and an even tougher loss by losing their captain. Um, credit to Bournemouth, they played incredible. Credit to Andani Iraiola, uh, Eric Ten Hag, and Man United need a hard look in the mirror because this just was not good enough. An absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous display um, by Bournemouth to get some major, major points. The table as it stands, United should be very nervous because as it stands west ham could go ahead of them tomorrow newcastle couldn't go ahead of them brighton are now one point behind on the same games played and bournemouth climb up to 19 points level with wolves brentford and chelsea that's an interesting little subplot there but comment down below let me know what you thought of this fixture like the video if you enjoyed man united getting thrashed by bournemouth uh just a shocking display all all around. I loved it as a Liverpool fan. My live stream for the Palace fixture, the Liverpool Palace fixture, is live. My match reaction is live, so check those out. I'll be live with the Arsenal Aston Villa fixture by the time this is up. So stay tuned or, or join in for that. That should be game of the weekend, I think. And besides all that, um, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I'm Sideline Sato. Hope you enjoyed watching. Peace.